guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to Hypermind. This is the fifth map that we've done as the Hypermind modded server. And I am sitting in a very, very cool place. A very laggy place, but a cool place. This is the Promised Land. And as you guys know, in Biomes of Plenty, there's a place that you can go using a staff that's like a bunch of sky islands. Um, we have a bunch of bunch of mods included in here and first I'd like to introduce you to a few people Here is Dakota Here is Mercedes and Here is Strawberry. That's my buddy Orm So yeah, <laughs> this is uh, this is my little piece of paradise right here. I've got a couple of friends that um, that I share quarters with you know and we're building up the house so that some of their, some more of their friends can join along. So uh, we have morph enabled on the server. So let me go ahead and get to one of the morphed forms that I can fly around with. Uh, one of my favorites is this bot fly right now. But uh, this is from Herberus, by the way. But here is my little slice of heaven, <laughs> right here. The portal is up there, and I just came in and stored a a little place that. I'd like to do some interconnected stuff with uh, the surrounding levels and islands and stuff like that. So I think this is going to be a really, really cool place to build. I've started a few builds like this before, and I don't know how far and how extensive I'm going to get, but I've got a couple of things set up. As you can see, there's a small ME system here, and it's powered below by a little hydrogen generator setup. So. It's um, it's a relatively simple start. I don't do much machines in FTB. I just like the building stuff. But there's a bunch of blocks that I can use in here. There's carpenter blocks, and for those of you that watch my Life in the Woods series, they allow you to be pretty creative and get some impressive stuff going. And also, there's forge micro blocks. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be doing a lot, a lot of stuff with building. This is just a small encampment right now. And um, just so I can house my storage and stuff like that and capture, um, I'm sorry, invite over uh, a few females to <laughs> to hang out here. So eventually we're going to have a harem and all kind of stuff. It'll be cool. There's another one now. I need to get some Safari nets online and stuff like that to really start bringing it together. And um, I've already got a good supply of name tags. But let me show you around a little bit. This is going to be... A uh, very nonchalant episode just to kind of get y'all introduced into the the, the server and <clears throat> for those of you who are just joining me or don't know me that well my name is Suljan I've been around for a couple of years and I um, I play I, I run and play on this uh, this server called Hypermind it's a really good community it's got between 30 and 35 members not all of them play on all the servers but uh, have some uh, I have a vanilla server that we play on and we also play on this modded server and this is the fifth version of it We've done quite a bit so far uh, On the server. I've only been playing a couple days, but it was just mainly to get the setup I don't know what that was, but it was loud. No, I'm the only one on the server I hope that wasn't a creeper hole somewhere where we really needed it No telling but this is the biome that we settled in It's a um, it's a pretty cool biome this one. I believe is named. Let's see What's it named? Uh, pasture. So uh, it was a pretty good spot for forming, I guess. We all had quite a, be quite a bit of uh, resources that we started here. Lone and BT did a lot of groundwork. And let me go ahead and get back into... Actually, I'll get into zombie form so I don't get attacked. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can get into zombie form and I should be fine. I'll burn in the sun though, so I gotta kind of be careful, but I should be able to fit through a door. Yep, there we go. So it's really, really cool. We've got some chests with all sorts of items in it, some machines that that go downstairs, and this is pretty much where I started off and got my my starting materials from. We also have a really, really nice enchanting setup here. This is used in the advanced enchantment table from Enchanting Plus, and uh, I think all of all in all, we're running about 180 mods somewhere in that neighborhood, but. It's got the mechanism stuff in here, and uh, I've got some really, really good, <laughs> I'm all zombie-like, I've got some really, really good weapons and armor online. Not super huge armor, but 
Um, I'm using Osmium right now, which is which was good first start, and I've got the Enchanted to the gills. I just went adventuring and stuff like that. Killed a whole bunch of stuff. I've got a Paxel that's made out of Obsidian with Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 5, Silk Touch, and Soulbound, and it's really, really good. I mean, it's it's... To me, it's one of the end-all tools. It's all you'll ever need, except for some of the Tinkerer's tools, maybe. And I've got an Obsidian Sword, which it could be more powerful due to the um, the Tinkerer's Construct stuff that I could put together, but I'm happy with it right now. It does everything that I need. Um, right up here, right down here, we actually have a little mining setup. Not Nothing major, but we did some stairs down, and it goes to kind of like a little area where we actually uncovered the Stronghold. So the stronghold is a little bit further down on the right here, which was kind of a cool find. We haven't gone to the end yet, but it's in close proximity to where the end will be. So I'll, I'm, I'm at least hoping that the portal's somewhere in there, but it's in that mess of stuff up there. And it, it's really, really cool to have the end that close to it. Um, here's a little XP setup that we have using a, break, a block breaker and uh, I think it's called Firestone. But you basically stand on here, and it just starts giving you XP, which is uh, it's really really neat. I can't remember exactly, but you can start seeing the stones how they come out. Uh, when you break that stone in that vicinity, it just gives you XP. So as long as you stand on that pressure plate, it it gives you XP. So really really good system, and it helped me get the gear that I want to. Which um, obviously because modded Minecraft, we're completely overpowered, but there is something very, very interesting in this mod pack that overpowered just doesn't seem as powerful as it normally is, and that's called the Hardcore um, Ender series. Let's see if I could look some of it up. Hardcore... I don't know if it'll show me. Hardcore... Yeah, Hardcore Ender expansion. So. They've got some stuff in here, some monsters that you would never, ever, ever be able to defeat in vanilla Minecraft. Which is really good because it's going to give us a challenge and it's going to be something nice. So, that's pretty much the setup guys. Not a whole, whole bunch, but we've got some great terrain generation that I'd like to show you too. Um, I apologize if some of these mods I'm not familiar with, um, but that's, that's just how I am. I don't do a whole, whole bunch of research. I pretty much just research what I need. Let me go in my butterfly form. And um, if y'all are familiar with Morph, a lot of these things, they they're don't you don't want to track monsters with them. So I uh, tend to stay in these forms instead of the bat, just so I don't really get hurt. I've already died, in fact, in Herberus when we killed a couple of uh, Withers. Um, just to make sure that we didn't actually... Uh, just to make sure that I had a store so that I could build the staff and, and get up to my little place up there. But you'll start seeing in the ocean here as soon as I get past this port. Kind of crazy terrain generation here. There's all sorts of dungeons and structures that appear in this map that make things really, really interesting. Um, we've looted most of the surrounding stuff already. Uh, I did that on one of my first days just to kind of get some of the, the needed stuff that we, that we wanted for the... Well, a few of the basic mods and just some experimentation and exploration, you know, you can't help but start looking around the map and like, hey, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? So, so far it's it's proven to be pretty fun. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these blocks in generation um, have some really, really cool patterns and textures like this stuff right here. Uh, I've used this before, marble, of course, and there's quarried stone, I have some abyssal stone marked off. I think Ormitage's base is somewhere around here as well. As you can see here, there's a ship that's spawning in right now. Well, not spawning in, but it's rendering in. And sorry, my air had just kicked on. But yeah, this is a uh, ship that's that rendered in. And we. Uh, this is all part of terrain generation. It already has some cannons online. It has some decks down here. Pretty cool stuff. Nothing was in these chests actually in this specific ship, but they do have some pirate ships. I had already raided a bunch of them. There's these floating castles all around. As you can see, there's a volcano over here. The floating castles are pretty cool. There are some spawners that are in these towers. I'll kind of show it to you. And as you can see, you can already hear the mess coming out. There's some gold in this one that acts kind of like a throne, I guess. There's a creeper there. 
But as you can see, they don't really attack me because I'm in this fly form, which is really, really neat. There's a baby zombie running around. Let's go down these little holes, and these are where the spawners are. So, really, really cool little generation that you get here. And the also, we're playing with very, very, very heavy ores. We don't have quarry set up, so you actually still have to go mining for the stuff. But uh, when you start mining, especially with a tool like I got, it's really, really not hard to get pretty much any material that you want in any quantity that you want. Let's try to load this up. F3A. There we go. So this is another ship, and this is a pirate ship. Something like I was telling you about. The ship generation is really, really cool. As you can see, there's some books in here and stuff like that. Um, I went through quite a bunch of these to get books so that I can kind of fill up the the base where we were at and get some enchanting books so that we can get all of our our enchantments online and get some good equipment. But I really just wanted to bring you through some of the things and show you a little bit about the mod pack. I want to do a lot of stuff with Ors Magica in this series, and most of the time when I play any kind of uh, any kind of Minecraft and I record it. It's really, really structured uploads, and uh, we have specific plans in mind. I'm just gonna play on this one a lot because it's around all my partners, and uh, I have a, I have a couple other serious series online already. So this is gonna be a little bit more relaxed and laid back. We're gonna do some fun stuff like fight a bunch of mobs that we shouldn't be, <laughs> um, get a lot of stuff online, um, some cool fun stuff. Nothing really, um, you know, exceptionally terrific as far as technology or machines or anything like that just gonna kind of have fun with it so I really really want to get that paradise uh, aisle started but that is going to be it for the first episode guys just a little short sweet introduction about the little setup that we have here um, there's gonna be a lot of traffic on the server most of the time um, there's two or three people on right now it's a little early in the morning so there's not that many people most people are at work now but there's going to be a lot of traffic on the server and probably a good bit of videos that are made. A few of them already made from some of the other server members. So check out the description below for all the other members if you want to see some of these mods in action and some of us play it. And um, I guess me and the ladies are going to see you guys out in a... Um, in the next episode so I'll be uploading these every two or three days so just um, if you if you're interested in this series just keep your eyes open for it and um, yeah that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching and as always this is Uljin signing off have a good one